What's up guys, today I found out something really cool. Now if you've been messing with OBS or Streamlabs OBS, you know that having multiple filters on the same camera is like impossible. Or is it? I'm going to show you how to do this guys. Because you know if you've started to put filters on a camera, it's a global alteration. Once you've put filters on that camera, it goes towards every single scene. And any adjustment you make on any other scene is going to affect all your scenes. And sometimes you don't want that. So let me show you what we've done here as a little bit of a workaround. The trick is, here's my normal camera, right? And I've got my standard filters on it, basic green screen. Um, you know, with my filters and, and jazz. And now, I, basically, any adjustments that I do to this is going to be a global screw-up. Like, it, you know, it might work on one scene and not another, but you don't have the, the liberty to fiddle with it. So what we've done is we made a whole new scene. I've called it Body Cam Scene. And all that exists on Body Cam Scene is a copy of my room camera. That's it. There's nothing but room camera on Body Cam Scene with the same filters mind you because if I mess with the filters it's gonna go across everything so nothing is over here except for room cam with the exact same filters that you see here but what we've done is we've gone add scene now I you know I did body cam scene but you can do like um, you know filter messing with with camera one something like that whatever it is you need to do mine's body cam scene so in our actual scene that I'm fiddling with right now, which is uh, what you saw here, uh, right here, okay, that's the scene we're fiddling with. I have got my room camera scene with the standard filters, another one for that little window spot right here. Now I've done a ad source scene capture. It's a little bit different than doing a video capture. We're going to grab the whole scene body cam scene. So I'm going to add source body cam scene and what this is going to do is it's going to grab this whole thing which again is nothing but the camera with the same filters. What this allows us to do however is put different filters on the scene. So you know again it's, over here it's nothing but the room cam with the same filters but now that I've imported the scene body cam scene I can mess with the filters. What I've done here is I've decreased the opacity and basically blacked it out. That's our silhouette. The silhouette is basically just a blackout with some uh, opacity on it. You can see it over here. So after a little bit of clever layering, uh, you know I've got my regular and the the body cam scene with the alternate filters. You can get away with some cool stuff. So this is all this is all capturing body cam scene with the blackout filters. This little guy right here is a little cutout of my standard room cam with its regular filters over the top. Just lined it up so it's over the top. Same thing out here. This is just my normal camera with my normal filters. Over here, you got it. I mean, you guys get it, right? So one more time, I'm just going to walk you through the quick steps. Make a new scene. Mess with my camera. Okay? Okay. Then in the scene that you're trying to mess with and you need different filters on your camera, you're going to add source, scene capture. Add source, I would add mess with my camera, right? Mine's, mine's body cam scene. And then you can put different filters on that. Hope that helps you guys create some, some awesome stuff. Keep on streaming, y'all.